Russell Gagan here with Russell's Fishing Tech. We're back with part two of the three-part series talking about rod spreads. And today we're gonna to talk about the nine rod spread. Yesterday we talked about six, today we're gonna to talk about nine. Nine is uh, for three people um, in Wisconsin and Michigan, you can run three lines per person. Um, actually three lines in Michigan, three lures in Wisconsin. Uh, so a nine rod spread is very common, uh, probably one of the most common spreads for uh, small boat guys, especially on Lake Michigan, um, and even some of the bigger boat guys, if they only go out with three people, nine rod spread becomes very, very common. We're gonna go over three different options today uh, for that nine rod spread. Of course, there's endless options. You can run a bunch of stuff, but this is three different options I'm gonna suggest um, that you have if you're gonna look to run a nine rod spread. Option one is one downrigger setup. Um, that downrigger is gonna be on an eight foot, uh, either medium light, or medium rod. Again, like yesterday, we talked about that Shimano TDR um, rod being real popular at $30. Um, you can also go with like the Okuma Classic Pro rod uh, for around $32.99, I believe. Um, and that eight foot to eight foot, uh, sorry, uh, eight foot medium or medium light action. Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, and I'm gonna stick with that all throughout the whole series. Uh, Spend your money on reels, save your money on rods. You don't need really expensive rods for the most part. Um, there's a few setups that you need a little bit higher end or, or specialty rod for. We'll talk about one of those in this video. Um, but uh, for the most part, you can save money on rods and just spend your money on reels. All of the setups that we talk about again today in the nine rod spread, you can get away with the 30 size reel and you can select either the Okuma Convector 30D, um, which retails for around $90 or you can select the Okuma Coldwater 303D, which retails for about 110. Um, so for a $20 difference, you can choose. They're, they're very similar, they both get the job done, um, but either one of them will be a great option for you. It just depends on if you wanna step up for the extra 20 bucks and, and pick up a, a couple extra features on the Coldwater series. So we got the one downrigger rod for option one. We're gonna put mono line on that, 20 or 25 pound test mono, and then uh, we're gonna run four divers. We talked about divers yesterday. Um, our outside diver rods, so our longer rods uh, for the outside divers, or what a lot of guys call high divers. Uh, we're gonna go with something in that nine, six, 10 foot or 10, six range. Um, like yesterday I, I showed here, this is a Okuma Classic Pro um, series, which is inexpensive at that thir you know, 32 to $35 range. This is a 10, six. Um, I also like that Shimano TDR uh, again, for $30 in that 9.6 um, range. So depending on how long of a rod you wanna go with, 9.6, 10 foot, or 10.6 on the outside as your high diver, um, you can pick that particular rod. And then we're gonna set that up, that reel up with braided line, uh, 50 pound braid on one of these two Okuma setups. And we're generally gonna go with a standard size diver, something like this 107, uh, DW deeper diver here, or a standard dipsy, or even a slide diver. Any of those three will work, but more of a standard size diver because we're really gonna work that rod up higher in the program, and that rod can also be used um, you know, for spring brown trout, uh, fall kings, any of that type of setup. Now, for the second two parts, we get, we're gonna run one of those outside on each side. The second two, we're gonna go with inside divers, and there we're gonna use wire. And this is something that I have a lot of customers stepping into now is wire line. Um, you know, it, it can be kind of confusing. Um, there's a couple types of wire. So there's weighted steel, which is a weighted line we run on planer boards. That's a different type of wire. Um, what I call wire is the stainless diver wire, seven stranded wire that we run on a diver rod. Um, we use those same 30 size reels here. Um, and with that, you need a specialty rod. And based on the length that I recommended for the, your outside diver, you're gonna go with either an eight foot or an eight foot six uh, wire diver rod. And that rod needs to have stainless steel type guides like you got right here. Um, and then preferably either a swivel tip on the end like this one, or a spring tip that is referred to as a twirly tip. This is one of those few rods that do cost a little bit more money. I believe this one is like 110 and we have sell another model called the Convector Pro that's 130. Um, because it is a specialty rod with the specialty guides and the specialty tip, 
it is a little bit more money. This is one where you have to spend that little bit more. But if I had to pick one rod, um, you know, one specific, one particular rod that I would say catches more kings year after year, just one specific rod would probably be that wire diver. So we're gonna have our, our one downrigger rod. We're gonna have four divers now, two of the high divers on the 9.6, 10 foot or 10.6 braided rods. Two of the low divers on the eight foot wire diver specialty rods with wire line uh, on those. And on those lower rods, we're gonna go with that magnum diver so we can get deeper with that. Uh, this can get us all the way down to 100 plus feet if need to be. Uh, but you know we'll fish that 50 to 100 a lot with this particular setup. And then that leaves us with four rods left and we're gonna go with four planer board rods. And we're gonna rig those exactly like we talked about yesterday. We're gonna rig them up with the, the braided line to fish pump handle type setups and or small inline weights. So we're very versatile again. Um, you know, lots of guys like lead corn copper and that's awesome. Um, the downside to that is you gotta carry a lot of rods and reels or a lot of reels at least for guys, especially starting out that are just getting into it or just want a very plain, simple setup that you can be very versatile in. Um, that Okuma Classic Pro Copper Rod, like I got right here uh, with the stainless steel guides, um, is what you're gonna wanna have for all your planer board rods. And then we would set one of these two Okuma 30 size reels, either the 30D or the 303D cold water up with braided line for those four rods. So option one, again, is one downrigger rod rigged with mono, uh, four divers, two high divers with braid, two low divers with wire, um, and then four bro boards set up with braid. Option two would be one rigger rod set up exactly the same with the mono again, two divers in which we would go with the braided line and the longer rods, so our high divers. That way you could switch it out if you wanted to start with uh, small divers early in the year. And then when the water got warm, you could go to bigger divers to get down deeper. And then six planer boards. And if, if you're a walleye fisherman just getting into salmon fishing, or if you've got a smaller boat and you're only gonna fish when the lake is really nice, this is a real premier setup because having those six planer boards, if you can handle managing those six boards, you're gonna find that you're gonna catch a lot more fish on planer boards than you are on a lot of other setups. So this particular uh, setup I think is really great for guys with smaller boats that are only gonna go when the lake is nice and they wanna be real versatile. Those six board rods, we're gonna rig up exactly the same way with those classic pro copper rods and braid on everything so we can be functional all throughout the water cowl. And then option three, the last option I would suggest is if you if you buy a pair of riggers, because most guys you know, buy them in pairs and you wanna run those two rods, um, you can run the two down riggers with mono on, on both of them, obviously. The same rod we talked about in, in option one and two. Um, two braid divers. Uh, so that you can uh, you know, switch out from small diver to big diver on a 9.6, a 10 foot or a 10.6 rod, and then four planer boards. Um, so we would rig up four exactly like we did in, in option one. Here we would just basically be swapping out, um, that's actually eight, so that's two riggers, two divers and five boards I meant to say. Um, so excuse me, so we could go with five boards if you wanted to run both your riggers. And what's gonna happen, I think, for a lot of you guys is you're gonna find that nine's sort of an odd number. You might carry 10 rods, and on a day where the lake might be choppy, um, you might go with two riggers and maybe one less board, or two riggers and maybe you know one less diver. And then when the lake's calm, you might find yourself going with you know more divers and, and planer boards. What I'm finding is that most of my customers that especially having that 16 to 22 foot size boats, they go primarily when it's calm. So we're finding that we're using less and less downriggers and more and more divers and planer boards. So if you're looking to get set up and you're looking for a nine rod spread, you know, I'd probably lean towards more of the divers, maybe two of the braid, two of the wire, um, and then some planer boards and maybe one rigger or maybe even no riggers. So hope this helps. Hope you enjoy the video. We'll be back tomorrow with the 12 rod spread to go over that one and, and, and talk about that. And if you're looking for any information, feel free to call me at 920-395-2079. Good luck.